A warm welcome to each one of us to um, another very interesting, very informative event and I as per my personal opinion today event is going to be very unique. The subject of today's evening event, I think it's, it's the first time we are hosting such subject. Uh, as we look to our left and right, the attendants look unusually thin today, but whether we have larger crowd or smaller crowd, our event is always a quality event. What is Shepherdler's Hall? For those who are new today, for those who, who, are, who are here for the first time, in case some of you are a first timer, what is Champerner Talk? Champerner is my own created word from the word champion entrepreneur. I, I like going to networking events. To me, it's one of the good platform to grow your business, to shake hands, to meet prospective clients, to, to meet someone, you, you never know what can happen from those contacts. And they are networking events, some or the other going on almost daily in Bangkok. You know, Bangkok is such a happening city. You walk into any pub, any hotel, any restaurant, there, there are probably some events going on. Most of the events happening in Bangkok are in one of the pub. The ticket they charge is between 500 to 1,000 and they, most of them proudly advertise free flow of wine, <laughs> you know, finger food, portable cocktail, free flow of wine and I pay those kind of tickets and hardly anything I can eat. Very limited choice for me to buy 600 baht ticket, 800 baht, 1,000 ticket. I don't drink and a uh, very limited food choice for me. Of course, this for the Lula Academy has been organizing training course and then we have alumni meet once in a while. Those who completed my course, we have get together. So one day I came up with the idea that why not host my own networking event. I'm sure I'm not the only person who value networking event, but does not wish to go to an event where they serve wine and get drunk and a lot of, uh, you can say, animal based food. I'm sure I'm not the only person. So why not create an event which I can combine with some of my alumni get together. That's how this Shampreneur talk came about. So it's a combination of interesting talk. We have guest speaker to present a talk. Then we have a platform for each one of you present to introduce yourself, to introduce your product, your business, what you do. <coughs> so it's a combination of informative talk presentation plus networking event. This is what Shampreneur talk is about. It's a business forum. It's a forum where you present yourself, not one to one, but to a group. To a group of people present. Doesn't matter today, maybe less turnover, but our event is always a quality event. And the people around are like minded people from different fields, different profession. This is how I like to start this evening by our usual way. One by one, you will stand up at your own place. We have a mobile microphone. Introduce yourself, your name, where are you from? If you are from outside Thailand, what do you do? Your business, your profession, what do you sell? Utilize between one to two minutes. Do not introduce just your name and what you do and then sit down. That is less than 10 seconds. I like you to use Utilize the time allotted to you to your maximum benefit. One to two minutes, you can talk a lot. In one to two minutes, you can talk a lot about.
of yourself. Your name, what you do, what you sell, you can even even show your brochure. We have a we we, we have a some of the uh, rack there. You see some of the brochures there. That is a place for you to place your brochure. In future, you come, you can put your brochure, your business card there for pickup, for free free pickup. At the end of the program, whatever left over, you take back. That's that's how we created the those uh, shelves there. So we'll start with my very good friend, and also I am honored and privileged to have him as our academy board of advisor. On my right, please. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I am Dr. Kamal Singh. I am the managing director of Dr. Kamal Biogenetic Holistic Health Center. It is in Sukhumvit Swai 22. I am treating the people without medicine because I believe when you take any kind of medicine, you have to recover twice. First time from the sickness, second time from the side effect of the medicine. I have a device which is called Quantum Resonance Magnetic Analyzer. You have to hold the sensor in your hand and it helps to diagnose 39 health conditions just in 59 seconds. According to the report, I will give an expert advice how to change your therapeutic lifestyle to make life better. So we here, you live and make life better. Thank you. Today is the first day, so I'm sorry because I don't know if we have the meeting or celebrate. <laughs> so, um, my business, uh, just now, now new is the um, her match to make the fashion on top of match again. So, I'm sorry, I don't know about that, otherwise, I didn't give a brochure today. And another job, my husband is the scientist, so uh, he makes about environment for the work. So he, I like what he talked one thing, he said before he died, he want to leave something return to the world. But who will explain, maybe my son, because my English is not so well. <laughs> okay, anyway, thank you, doctor, to being um, here, so to... Uh, for everybody, uh, for so I'm happy about today. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Mariano Consentino. Now I'm studying at Brunham University Faculty Humanities first year. Now I'm helping my dad about invention because my dad is a an engineer about the to saving environment is uh, about the fuel cell uh, making hydrogen to to make everything about and I'm also helping my mom to clean the house and also working as freelancer okay thank you hello I my name is Hanita Bajan Naha. My name is Tatanga Pish. And I thought, may 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 มันไม่โอเคทีนี้แต่ว่าดูดวงอะไรเนี่ยก็คืออาจารย์บอกว่าเราต้องเป็นอาจารย์ที่แบบว่าสอนเกี่ยวกับดูดวงอะไรเงี
ประมาณนี้ก็กำลังศึกษาแล้วก็สอนแล้วก็พัฒนาตัวเองไปเรื่อยๆค่ะยินดีได้รู้จักทุกคนนะคะสวัสดีครับผมพงประกรณ์ชิดชัฒนาจบปริญญาตรีเภสัชศาสตร์นะครับแล้วก็เปิดเปิดร้านขายยานะครับแล้วก็ไปเรียนต่อปริญญาโททางด้านจิตวิทยาให้คำปรึกษาเพราะฉะนั้นเวลานี้ก็ทำงานสองหน้าที่ควบกันคือเป็นเภสัชกรด้วยแล้วก็เป็นนักจิตวิทยาให้คำปรึกษาด้วยนะครับแล้วก็เรียนรู้เพิ่มเติมเกี่ยวกับเรื่องการการช่วยเหลือคนโดยการใช้สมาธิบำบัดการการสะกดจิตนะครับแล้วก็ตอนนี้เริ่มมาสนใจเกี่ยวกับเรื่องของไพ่ทาโร่ไพ่ออร่าเพิ่นนะครับเพราะเขามองว่ามันเกี่ยวกับเรื่องของจิตใต้สำนึกทั้งหมดนะครับแล้วก็เชื่อว่าจิตใต้สำนึกมันจะเชื่อมโยงกับพลังจักรวาลน,นะครับพอดีมามาเห็นว่ามีมีงานตรงนี้ของของท่านด็อกเตอร์ก็เลยอยากจะมาศึกษาเรียนรู้ครับคุณครับ,รบ,รบ,รบ,รบ He works. Uh, he he is a bachelor degree in pharmacy. ค่ะสวัสดีค่ะชื่ออนัญญรัตน์พิธีสัทนานะคะค่ะก็จบปริญญาตรีจากคณะนิติศาสตร์จุฬาลงกรณ์มหาวิทยาลัยค่ะ
ตอนแรกก็ทํางานเป็นร้านภาษาฝรั่งเศสค่ะแล้วก็ตอนนี้ก็มาทํางานช่วยคุณพ่อค่ะช่วยไปการตลาดกับคุณพ่อแล้วก็ตอนแรกก็คุณพ่อก็ให้มาศึกษาเรื่องธรรมะเรื่องไทยยิปซีการบําบัดเกี่ยวกับเอ่อการรักษาสุขภาพอะค่ะเพราะว่าได้ช่วยเหลือตนเองด้วยเพราะตัวเองเป็นคนสุขภาพไม่ดีมากๆก็เลยคุณพ่อก็เลยบอกว่าเออหมายถึงว่าเลิกกินยาได้แล้วไม่ใช่อะไรก็กินแต่ยาให้ไปใช้เรื่องธรรมชาติบำบัดไทยยิปซีพลังจากกะทั้งเจ็ดเพราะว่านอกจากจะช่วยเหลือตัวเองให้สุขภาพดีขึ้นแล้วก็ยังสามารถไปช่วยเหลือผู้คนด้วยได้ด้วยนะคะค่ะที่มาฟังตรงนี้ก็อยากให้ครั้งหน้าหน้ามีการจัดบรรยายนี้อย่างนี้นะคะ่ะแล้วก็จัดบ่อยๆด้วยอะคะ่ะเพราะว่าได้ประโยชน์กับส่วนรวมได้ขอบคุณมากนะคะยินดีต้อนรับนะครับอันนี้เป็นชุนินลอง and the gentleman next to him to her is her father uh, she is working as a translator between Thai and French okay. French language okay French to Thai Thai to to French but having a problem with her own health So uh, and and she want to get rid of medicines. So start following the path of her father with the energy and universal healing. And also very interested in tarot. And very happy that we have this subject today. And she wish to see more of this subject in this forum in the future. And and she will be happy to introduce more friends. To this kind of forum, to this kind of subject, we warmly welcome you. I'm to t e p s i n e l a I also believe in, you know, coincidence and luck. Uh, last year, I was supposed to be. In, I'm, I'm not supposed to be in Bangkok, but unfortunately, I was in Bangkok, and Dr. k o m a j i t was in that, this room having the biomagnetic test, and I. I sign up and I test, and I found out that my potassium was low from his test, and then, which is a good thing for me because then I do a research. I have been having s e n a g o g u e for a long time, then that's why my potassium dropped. So I was lucky or coincident or thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Ismar i l a y o uh, I work here in Omni Tower, s i n k e t Ship, uh, as a housekeeper in housekeeping department. Uh, maybe I'm new here. Uh, I will thanks to everybody because giving me a chance to be here. That's why I have also experience uh, about in net- networking in. My country, in the Philippines. Networking. Yes. Okay. So. By the way, he's from Philippines. That's yeah. I'm Filipino. Yeah. Uh, that's why maybe I thank you all because having me chance, giving giving me chance, you all. That's why uh, I say thank you, everybody. Good evening, everybody. My name is Sethu. I'm from India. I work for Show DC, an upcoming mall, the opening in November. Uh, first time here. Thanks to Kun Bao for organizing this evening. If you can share a little more about your upcoming mall, since you have, we'll have one minute more. Uh, well, um, Show DC is unique uh, in its positioning. We are catering to tourists primarily because uh, tourism being a primary uh, GDP contributor, uh, chairman and the fund which is invested in. Believes in tourism investment, so we've gone ahead and uh, modeled this whole uh, concept of this mall around tourism. Uh, you will all get to visit uh, sometime end of this year. So this company is a Korean-based company. Oh, no, this is uh, a Thai company. Thai company. The investment investing fund is Thai and Malaysian investors. Thai Malaysian investors. Right. And where is this mall located? Uh, on Rama Nine, Rama opposite Nine. to Golden Tulip. Once this facility is open, we will open one in Chiang Mai, uh, one in Kuala Lumpur, and so on. on. This will be an AAC-focused investment. So when is it due to open? November 18th. This 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 year. This, this, this year. Two yeah. months. Two yeah. months from now. It's it's quite big. It's bigger than CM Paragon in size. 
bigger than the upper account. Okay. And uh, I got to know that in this mall you will be having a duty free shop. As well. Yes. For okay. the first time we'll have Asia Pacific's largest duty free company called Alote coming in and opening a uh, facility there. I I I I'm in favor of this duty free because in Thailand so far right now the duty free is monopol monopolized by King Power. Yeah. So they need competition. So I am very happy that the newcomer is coming in duty free. We warmly welcome you. Hello everybody. I am Monica this side. And by profession I am a teacher but nowadays I am a homemaker and I am trying to help my husband in his business and my children to you know, grow and to develop in their personality. Uh, basically I have done tarot since for about few, few years but uh, uh, since 10 years I have not even touched so I just wanted to revive and refresh myself. Thank you for, for being here and I am happy that I am here. Thank you so much. Thailand or India? No, in India. In India. Okay. So very short, very short period, then I joined my husband and I was like, Okay. Hello, Sodika. I'm a little bit of a tour. 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 ข้องเลยครับข้องเลยครับเรื่องญี่ปุ่นนี่ถ้าถ้ามีอะไรให้ช่วยก็ยินดีนะก็ยังมีวิสเนสที่ญี่ปุ่นผมยินดีที่ได้มาร่วมงานนี้ครับขอบคุณนะอ dozen times a year he speak fluent Jap Japanese and have been doing this business with Japan for 30 years we warmly welcome you yes hello everyone my name is Kalyani uh, I am running a, a business a restaurant business vegan restaurant and vegan bakery um, uh, the name is veganery and we have a Three locations. One location is uh, at Mercury Wheel building, and And the second one is uh, at the M Hotel. Then is an outlet, and the third one is uh, behind the Benjamin Park near Emporium. We uh, I have been vegan for uh, eight years. So we are interested in, uh, and I'm vegan activist, and uh, uh, taking care of the idea of of uh, saving the animals, and and uh, the other thing is taking care of the idea of uh, taking care of the health of the people by vegan diet, and uh, so. And at beginner, besides we sell all the food and bakery and the thing to eat, we also educate. We listen to all customers. And uh, if you are interested in uh, veganism, uh, please join B1. <laughs> because I'm one of the a strong member and. Uh, and also uh, follow Thai Vegetarian Association um, and, and you will know how to heal yourself with uh, real food that uh, our body wants. Yes, that's what I want. Now for those who have not been there, I highly recommend you visit We Can Read behind, next to Emporium, behind the park there. The best cake, best ice cream, ice cream best cuisine food in town. And, 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 and if I don't tell you in advance that it's 100% vegan, you wouldn't believe. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I want to say something more to the Sure. <laughs> a, 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 a bit before, before, before the speech. Before the speech. Yeah. 
So now you look, look at left and right, we are no longer seated among strangers. We, we feel warm now, we get to know each other. The, the, the important of this session is, once we are through with the program, after our highlight of this evening, during dinner time, then you know whom you want to talk to. You know whom you want to approach to grow your business or to exchange business cards. This is the purpose of this networking event. Now, before the highlight of this evening, let, let's look at the program sheet in your hand. I will not go all the points, but let me highlight some of the points. If you look at the page 2, can, 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 uh, can we have this? If you look at page 2, I have listed there 11 tips to maximize benefits from joining networking events. Okay. Divided into four categories. The first category is planning to attend. When you plan to attend, what you need to watch. And then while the program in progress, what you need to watch. During dinner networking, what you need to watch. And then after the program. Of course, let, let, let me just uh, bring to your attention just a few. Of course, you can go back and read on your own. Number four, look at number four. Bring lots of business cards. This is a must. Whenever you go to networking events, you must carry lots of business cards and, and including brochures and uh, whatever promotional materials. Because you do not want to miss an opportunity. When you meet, you want to present your business. Look, look at how I carry my business card. This is it's always there in all my suit so that I make sure I do not forget. Look at my business card. And a good business card must be with photo. Okay. Today, you look at any social media, you look at LinkedIn, LinkedIn, you look at Facebook, you look at WhatsApp, you look at Line, there is a column where you can download your photo. Is that right? So, it gone are the days when you present yourself without a photo. It, it gone are those days. People want to do business with you. First of all, they want to see your photo. Who you are. This kind of face, do I like to, do I like to shake hands with? Do I like to get married with? Doing business together is like getting married. So photo is a must. If your business card currently is without photo, tomorrow go to a printer, get a new one printed out with a photo. Business card must be with a photo. Okay. Number seven, look at number seven. When we go to any event, let's say you walk into a wedding party, what do we do most of the time? The moment we walk into a wedding party, I start looking, oh, where is my friend? Where is my friend? You know, I, 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 I will spend time with my friend or people whom I know. Then you are not making use of the networking event. Of course, you can meet your friend, say, hi, hello. If you don't meet them, they, they see, oh, what happened to this man? His, his, his ego is so high. Of course, you meet your friends. But what I'm saying is, spend maximum time. You, you don't want to spend maximum time with somebody you already know. You meet them, say hi, hello to them, but spend maximum time making new friends. Make new friends. Only then you benefit from networking event. Like this today, if, if you see new friends, spend more time with them, not, not with people you already know. Number 11. Number 11. Always under promise and over deliver. Always under promise and over deliver. Okay, under promise and over deliver. Uh, if you want one time business, over promise and under deliver. If you want long term relationship, under promise and over deliver. So it's up to you. Now look at the back page. The back page. Six essential for a good life. can go through. I think it's very clear. Let me highlight number five. Of course, we work hard. We have our culture. We, we put importance to our family, inner circle, extended family. Enjoy life. To me, I, I feel we shouldn't miss out anything in life. There is a good movie. Go and watch it. Of course, we work hard. We work hard. Okay, we work hard. But there is a, a good concert. Go spend money. Go, go, go to watch a concert. There is a good food, good cake, 
good we we can shop go good movie go enjoy life to me life is a celebration every day we are alive is a celebration life is a celebration to be alive itself is a celebration so do not miss out anything in life okay go to good good beach spend time with, with family on the beach okay. five ways to strengthen our integrity let's see number 2 when we when we uh, make mistakes we apologize have, have you have you uh, experienced yourself or seen this kind of apology a person asking for apology then say but i apologize for this but there's no such thing as but if you want to apologize 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 will not be do not do not follow by but but means your apology is with some reservation you are not apologizing from your heart you are apologizing as a formality apologize the right way there is no but so anyhow these are some of the tips short tips for today i like to devote more time to the highlight of this evening I like uh, to check whether I need translation into Thai for those whose English may not be that good. But if you you can cope, you can still understand to some extent. I would like to avoid translating into Thai so that we we give maximum time to our presentation. มีมีท่านใดที่ว่าภาษาอังกฤษพอฟังได้โดยที่ผมไม่ต้องแปลสำหรับการการบรรยายในในคืนนี้จะโอเคไหมครับโอเคนะฮะโอเคนะฮะไม่ไม่ต้องแปลโอเคไหมฮะอยากให้แปลอยากให้แปลอยากให้แปลโอเค and we have at least one request for translation what I will do is uh, I will what 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 I will internal or give a brief brief uh, brief translation at the end what are you more comfortable with for me it will be okay because So I do it at the end, but at the end, at the end. For me, I think you can interrupt any time. Okay, sure. So for proper introduction of our presentation, our guest speaker, I like to invite Dr. Kamal Jit Singh, who has been so kind to introduce the couple to us. Please welcome Dr. Kamal Jit Singh. Hello, thank you. I am a man of practical. I do not go haywire. I met Dr. Madhu first time in Bangkok. She was in a uh, having stall in the wedding uh, uh, pier. I was just walking around. When I saw something regarding healing, I took one step backward. I exchanged my card with her. Then, on completion of the celebration, they approached my clinic. I had good discussion with them. It was very nice. So, in my family, I'm the only person who believes in this tarot card reading, uh, astrology, vastu, feng shui, none but none others. So I I experienced one problem. My daughter, she got married. She is well educated. She is top of the university. We found very good wife for her. Later on, we came to know that boy is taking drugs. So we have to divorce. So after that, I was in a panic. My wife, she always thinks that what we should do. She was just believing in God. Okay, God will solve the problem. But as a father, I just keep talking to people. Then I asked Dr. Madhu, Dr. Madhu, this is the problem. How you can help me? Because I was new daily that time. She arranged. Uh, around 10 patients for me for this quantum test. They all came to the hotel to get check up, and she also came over there. So we had very long discussions. Then she said, "Anyone in India, it is not like love marriage. Very less. Most of them they are arranged marriages. So we put in the matrimonial. We found few boys. I sent that picture of that boy as well as the birth date of that boy. She rejected almost all. 
Then she found one boy. She said, Doctor, I think this boy is good for him or her, but there is some problem. We have to find the solution. We have to do some healing for her. So I asked my own daughter, can't you come down to New Delhi from Punjab and meet Dr. Madhu? She said, no, Dad, but I believe in God. Then I told for my sake, please just go and meet her. She is not going to do anything bad or any magic, no black magic. Only she is doing the healing in a scientific way. So my wife and my daughter, they came to New Delhi. They met her. The, she said, okay, I will be giving the healings. She did that. And we got a very good match. My daughter is very happy. So then I introduced to one of my friends. He is an industrialist. The another person, he ran away, took his money around uh, 2.6 million. So he was not giving money to him. I introduced her to that, my friend. They sent the healings. They started getting the money from that person. So another man who was here, uh, guest speaker also, Kunal Puri from New Delhi. He had some misunderstanding with his wife. And the wife left him and he was very, like, uh, very sorrow. He's a good good boy, very potential in work, but his whole concentration in that only. He is the only son that the wife has gone and parents are also unhappy. He approached to me, Doctor, how you can help me? So then I introduced that person also to Dr. Mal. So now they are staying together happily with love, harmony. So it clicked into my mind that giving is the barometer of our love. When we cease to give, we are dying. So why can't we give her services to my brothers and my sisters for their welfare? I requested her, Doctor, can't you make a program to come here? Because there are a lot of patients, they, they need some psychic healings. They come to me for the treatment. Some people, they believe in this and they, I really want to help them. I'm very glad that she has not taken even a second thought. She said, Doctor, I will be coming. Just hit the appointments. So I said, okay. Then I requested Mr. Paul, he's always known for the warm welcome and kind hospitality. He said, Doctor, no problem. If Dr. Madhu is coming, we walk, walk, we give her warm welcome. So then we start publishing what her into the various media, social media. So that is the reason she is here. So I mean to say that I have the testimonials about her. Because I do not believe anything unless I try myself. I do not breach the trust of my near and dear ones. You all trust me, you come to me. So if I tell just to please someone and it doesn't happen, tomorrow it means I am breaching your trust. You may not trust me in the future. As I always say, the pan of wood can only be used once for cooking not time and again. People knows me here because of this. So that is the reason Dr. Madhu is here and I give her a warm welcome and good luck to all of you. Thank you so much. We warmly welcome Mr. Manoj Patnagar and Dr. Madhu <laughs> standing beside Paul Neruda Academy. <laughs> Thanks for giving us a platform. Dr. Kamal, it's, it's, it's been almost two years now with you. It's, it's always a, a pleasure to meet you, whether in Delhi or in Bangkok. Yes. Yes. Or in uh, Delhi, it's, it's, it's really a pleasure. Uh, I'll just quickly go through a, a small uh, macro view of what is she doing and what we are. And then probably in details we will be taking up a couple of uh, insights uh, what uh, she is doing. So uh, can, I have, can I have the presentation please? Uh, this group is called M. Shazam Group and uh, she, she started in about 2002. Later on, you know, when I came, we started to getting more in terms of uh, uh, segregation between the work, uh, works. 
So the initial uh, uh, institute she has opened is M. Shazam Institute of Terror and Divination. Later on, only this year, we have started uh, Shazam Soul Therapy. And then uh, in 2016, recently, we have created another Knox Creative Therapy. And just uh, uh, because she uh, she has to be introduced into what she is, she's she is a PhD in alternate life about herself, and then uh, ultimately went to US for some uh, uh, healing practices and some course uh, by her by her master. She is a born psychic healer, and uh, she excels in energy healing. Uh, this very critical part is the energy which she will be taking up in detail because everyone you know wants to know about the energy, what is energy. She will be taking up a, a clear insight of what is uh, in a, a energy healing. This can be various forms like pranic, energy, crystal, candle flame, flames, ancient craft. There, there, there can be any much of the ways. Uh, she is a channel to archangels. Uh, she will be more putting up uh, more insight into what is this. And she is a born clarinet. There are two or three words which I am saying regularly. One is a clarinet, other I will be using energy, and third is the aura. I'll, I'll go into the next slide uh, for these three details. Uh, in terms of energy, she works on key areas like relationship, uh, she works on depressions, addictions, fear and phobia, the emotional traumas if some, someone is facing, and concentration issues. These are being tackled through the energy route. Uh, she has uh, clients and uh, the treatment can be uh, two ways. It can be one to one or it can be a distant uh, healing or a distance uh, course via uh, Skype, or Skype or network healings. She is very well known in India for uh, animal healing. Can I confess this, that she has a 100% record in finding the lost pets in India. And as a dedicated person, she don't charge for this practices. And she has a, a, a separate uh, field for this and she works uh, very silently on this. She doesn't want any uh, advertisement or something given to this. So she, anyone calls some, some pet has lost, she will find out and won't charge any amount for this. Uh, she also has hypnotherapy and past life regression. Uh, this is another very critical field. I request uh, Dr. Madhu to take up to this uh, field. She is also into numerology, which is uh, 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 numerology for her is identifying the vibration of, of the numbers with the aura. And I'll, I'll get back to you what is uh, aura. Uh, the main interesting aspect will be energy vastu, which is, uh, it can be, the vastu energy can be in terms of uh, workplace or home, home place. This she will be taking up uh, in detail. These are the three words which we are using regularly. So I just put up in a separate slide. What is aura? Aura is a energy shield of the body. Like we do have skin, uh, skin for our uh, for our body. Similarly, there is an energy shield which covers our cell, and this is called an aura. I, I think she will be taking up uh, in detail about this. Uh, the healing part is being done through the aura. First, it's been healed through aura, and then it translates into the body. Channeling. Channeling, channeling is a word used for getting messages from the masters. Uh, either it is uh, some energy or some entity which, uh, which uh, they will get the information. She has her Archangel, uh, Archangel Michael which gives the uh, information in terms of most of the information. Another word which I have used is a clarinet. Clarinet is a, is a person who foresee events before we normal people can see. It can be in terms of seeing, it can be smelling, it can be sensing, 
anything which is not being perceived by humans uh, or they can perceive much earlier. Uh, just to give you a small uh, insight, when uh, we or someone is going to have a uh, disease, it first enter into the aura. After that, after probably three or four months or four or five months, then it will come into our body. So this is a, uh, the, the, the main task of a clarion to identify something and then predict much before that it happens. This is the, this is the first institute uh, where she started. She started in 2002. Right now, we have over 10,000 students spread, spread around the world. She has over 10,000 students in the US, UK, Gulf, India, uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Australia. All these students are either practicing by themselves or they are still in contact uh, for their family or workplace issues. The spectrum of courses offered, uh, uh, I, all the details are there in the, in the brochures, what kind of courses are there. Uh, this courses can be offered as I have discussed about one to one or it's a distant learning with uh, literature and tools. She is also a founder of Vita India in India. She is the person who started Vita India and she is the one who started the Shazam Tarot Network. Uh, we have also come through uh, about spiritual products. They, they can be in terms of uh, blended oils, it can be salts. It can be soaps, it can be it can be sprays. So while going through, you can have a look of some of the products which I have brought in, which will be of interest for you. Uh, healing she does uh, uh, to a person, uh, and she will be taking up us uh, in detail what is healing, what is healing for a person or a non-living thing, which is uh, tangible. Uh, she is also into uh, shakti pujas havans, rituals, she does for chakra balancing, uh, most many, many other things. Past life regression, I'm not going to say because she knows what to speak about this. Uh, quickly go through uh, the next company which we have started recently, this is Shazam Soul Therapy. This will be basically focusing on corporate clients where we are, we are targeting to uh, go into uh, spiritual seminars and lectures. Uh, and it, it, there will be a separate courses for the staff or the IT, uh, IT industry. This will be more into energy balance and, and cleansing of the workplace as well. And most of the uh, spiritual products which you are going to, uh, to see here will be within a span of three to four months will be available online. So you can buy online uh, most of the products. Uh, weekend products, we are, we are planning to be under one umbrella whichever who wants to, uh, to buy. There will be a sort of spell boxes, statues, wish fulfillment articles which will be so called in, in the technical world as called bliss products. So they will fall into this. Aromatherapy portions and cosmetics is the next our line of action which will be coming through. We do also have a company formed as uh, Knox Creative Gifts. This is uh, more into corporate gifting and uh, uh, promotional branding. Because since we are entering into the corporate sector, so we thought uh, this would be a better idea to have a Indian ethnic uh, gifts being circulated worldwide. Uh, a special thanks uh, to Dr. Kamalji and uh, Mr. Paul Merula for giving us this opportunity. I am really thankful and I am looking forward for, for spending uh, here about four days. We are in Bangkok uh, till 8. And, uh, we will be uh, having uh, uh, available at, at uh, Dr. Kamal's Biomagnetic Holistic Center uh, pro probably from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you can have all the details or whosoever wants to meet uh, for this. I'll request uh, Madhu now to take up a few points which are very critical and which you should understand. I request at the end that translation can be done. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.
we'll talk about energy first, what energy is. Energy is everything. When we speak, it creates energy. When we think, it creates energy. When we hear something, it is creating our energy. Everything creates energy and the world is actually moving with the energy. normally don't understand that this is happening and that is why we keep on thinking what we don't want to happen normally oh god this should not happen we should not actually think like that we should think what we want because when we say we, this should not happen that not go somewhere and actually that thing you are you know attracting into into your life that is how energy affects your life and energy is not only you know, your thoughts, it is other people's thoughts also. When people are thinking about you, that is also affecting your energy aura. This is really hard for me. Okay. 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 So, it affects your aura and uh, it depends on the other people's thoughts. Uh, how strong it is going to be on you, it depends on your aura. Uh, Manoj has explained to you what is aura. Anybody wants more detail on aura? Yeah? Okay. See, aura is basically an energy field around your body. It is, it protects you from everything. It's like a, you know, like your skin, it's energy skin around you, it is on many layers, it is not only one layer, it, it is on seven levels on your body, so it is protecting you on seven levels, from the seventh level it starts breaking up and then it comes to your physical body, anything, so if your aura is weak, then other people's thought is going to affect you, and your aura, you only, you are the person who makes it weak or strong. If you are not, you know, sure about yourself, if you are fearful, if you are, you know, unstable, then your aura becomes weak. If you are very, if you get uh, a lot of aggression, if you are a, a person who gets aggressive very fast, then you break your aura. If you are a person who gets very uh, depressive, then again you break your aura. So if you are not positive about yourself, you break your aura. And if your aura is broken, the other people who are, you know, thinking about you, they are entering into your field, your energy, and they are going to affect you in a bad or a good manner, depends on how they are thinking about you. So this is how you might have felt some people, you know, they start behaving in a different manner when they are... Uh, I said you can sit here. It's okay, I can okay. stand here. <laughs> I think everyone is comfortable, huh? Okay, so uh, some people, you know, they start behaving in a different manner with, with a person who is a very strong personality. You might have seen some people when they are talking, nobody, you know, nobody can actually deviate their mind, they are only listening to them because they have got a very strong aura and that energy is affecting those weak aura people and they are not able to say what they want to say. So this is how you know energy affects energy. Energy can affect everything. Everything in your life. Uh, also, the non-living things. You know, if you have something in your home and you don't like it, and every time you look at that thing and you say, "Oh, I don't like it." So what will happen is that don't like it energy is there in that you know in that particular thing. And whenever somebody will come to your home, will also not like. Because that, you know, that negative energy has got collected in that thing. So non-living things also catches energy and you start getting 
those kind of uh, feelings from those uh, uh, things and those kind of negative things. If there are a lot of things uh, in your house which you dislike, then people will stop liking coming to your home. So this is how you know energy energy can affect. And uh, there are uh, you can uh, you know see it in uh, YouTube also. Some pranic healers have done some experiment on water. Uh, they had two glasses of water, one glass, they asked everybody to come and say I love you and one glass of water, everybody to say I hate you and after that, after 15 days when they checked the water, that water started sinking which people were saying that I hate you and I love you, what, that water was actually, you know, had better, uh, better quality so the thoughts can actually change everything Okay. So, this is important for us to maintain the positive thinking. If the thinking is positive, you attract only the positive thing and you have positive energy around you. So, uh, we will talk about uh, divination tools out here. I use a lot of divination tools, tarot is one of them and uh, there are a couple of people who use this tarot out here. So, tarot is uh, a divination tool which connects with your subconscious mind and through your subconscious mind it, it gets the information from the higher consciousness or the God or the Supreme Being you want to call. So uh, I use tarot to understand what exactly a person is going through and uh, then I try to help them through my healings. Uh, along with tarot I use uh, other things. I am as Manoj has already told you, I am a clairvoyant, so I can actually see and feel a lot of things. So, more than tarot, I use my hands to scan a person to understand what kind of energy that person is having and where I can help. So, uh, healing, this is basically energy healing because I can feel I can see energy and uh, so that is how I can heal the energy. I can heal the energy centers of your body. I can heal the energy of a place which has gone bad. And uh, I use a lot of things along with the energy healing. I call upon archangels. I work a lot with the angels and I uh, work a lot with Goddess Shakti. And I call upon them and with their help I try to heal people, um, anything and everything. It is not only the physical level I heal, I can heal on the mental and on uh, material level. If you are going through some you know, job problem, work problem, I can actually heal that because even if you have a job problem or a work problem, it is something wrong with your own energy. So I can correct that energy so that you can start getting the right things in your life. That is how I can uh, work on uh, relationships uh, because uh, in relationships also this is all energy thing. So there are cords between people. So when the cords go bad, the relationship go bad. So we can start working on uh, on the cords. We can correct the cords. We can correct the feelings. We can correct the chakras, and the relationship can be healed. There are many things uh, in healing as it is written over there. Relationship is one thing which is very important. Then I would like to talk about geopathic stress. Geopathic stress is basically, you know, when uh, there is a stress, there is some negative influence and energy on a place. It can be an office, it can be home or, or land. So I work on that, I can communicate with the energies, I can release those energies, I can heal those energies to make that place abundant and good for living, good for working. And uh, in India we do a lot of concentration issues, problems because there are uh, you know uh, students who are not able to concentrate in their studies. So we work on that and uh, 
Rest of the things are also healable like addictions, fear and phobia, emotional traumas, everything can be healed by correcting your energy field. I am a clinical hypnotherapist, so I do a lot of hypnotherapy on people. There are um, people come with a lot of blockages which they say that they keep on coming. Like if you join join a company, you find a, a very uh, you know strong boss, you cannot handle it. You leave that company, you go to another company, you find another boss like that. So it is like a cycle in your life. In relationships also, every relationship is getting broken because of um, the same reason. So that those kind of cases are basically past life uh, blockage cases. Where uh, you might have done something in your past life, you might have taken an oath or, or a promise to your soul which is blocking something in your present life. So what we do is we hypnotize and uh, you know, Take the person to the past life, find out what has happened and then uh, correct it there, heal it there. If it is not healable there, then we use the energy healing to heal that particular problem. But uh, before that we find it out what exactly has happened in the past life. Chakra balancing, basically when there are seven uh, chakras in our body which are the energy centers which create the aura. Like in our physical body, we have got heart, we have got uh, lungs, we have got these organs to maintain the body. We have got seven chakras to maintain the aura. And these chakras, every chakra has, uh, you know, a particular job to do in our body. So what we do is, in chakra balancing, we balance all the seven chakras, we collect the chakras, and uh, that is how we make your aura strong. Like for example, if someone if someone is having a lot of emotional issues, a lot of emotional imbalances, then his sacral and the uh, solar plexus is very very imbalanced. So we work on those chakras and we correct it. If someone is not attracting money in his life, it is the root chakra, the basic chakra, which is weak. So we make the particular chakra strong and uh, correct other chakras and balance all the energy. This I have already talked about uh, in geopathic stress. The energy vastu I do is basically I correct the energy. I do not, you know, ask to break a wall or create a wall or you know replace things in your house but what I will do is I will correct that particular energy of that area you don't have to create a change in your house but the energy will be balanced and things will become better so this is what all services I provide and what are all I do anybody wants to ask any question can ask me uh, ครับเอ่อดรมาตูโคติยาก็มีความพิจารณาเกี่ยวกับเรื่องพลังพลังจักรวาลเกี่ยวกับยาทิพย์คือสามารถมองคนเนี่ยสามารถรู้ออร่า
ให้ผมมาจัดรายการแบบนี้แล้วก็ท่านผู้บรรยายมีความชำนาญเกี่ยวเรื่องบำบัดทุกนะฮะความกังวลต่างๆแล้วที่เชี่ยวชาญเป็นพิเศษคือบอกว่าใครมีสัตว์เลี้ยงมีสุนัขมีแมวนะฮะที่หายไปเนี่ยมีประวัติในการหาเจอหนึ่งงานงานงานเกี่ยวเรื่องหาสัตว์เลี้ยงเนี่ยไม่คิดเงินเฉพาะงานด้านที่ทําเป็นการกุศลทําช่วยเดียมีชื่อเสียงช่วยเดียสุนัขใครแมวใครหายไปเนี่ยไปหาเนี่ยนะหาเจอหมดร้อยเปอร์เซ็นไม่มีประวัติที่ว่าหาไม่เจอแม้แต่ตัวเดียวขนาดนี้เลยนะฮะแล้วก็มีพลังในการเพิ่มพลังให้กับน้ําเอาน้ํามาวางสองแก้วแล้วเราเราแสดงความรักไปที่น้ำหนึ่งแก้วแล้วเราก็บอกเราเกลียดน้ำอีกหนึ่งแก้วเนี่ยพลังจะต่างกันที่สุดได้ใน,ในทางวิทยาศาสตร์วิธีการก็มีการใช้ไพ่พาโลตามที่ขึ้นอยู่บนกระดานนะใช้ไพ่พาโลแล้วก็มีในเรื่องเกี่ยวกับเปิดจักรในตัวเรามีทั้งหมดเจ็ดจักรเป็นช่องช่องรับพลังบางทีช่องรับพลังเรามีปัญหาพลังมันไม่เข้าเนี่ยนะพลังเข้าออกเลยมีปัญหาแล้วก็ยังมีศาสตร์เรื่องของเ,ออเกี่ยวกับเราอาจจะมีปัญหาจากชาติที่แล้ว <coughs> อันนี้ก็ถือเป็นความเชื่อส่วนบุคคลก็แล้วกันนะคือใครที่มีปัญหาเนี่ยปัญหานั้นนะจริงๆมันอาจจะมาจากชาติที่แล้วเขาจะสะกดจิตเรานะฮะจะสะกดจิตเราแล้วเข้าไปแก้ที่ชาติที่แล้วเนี่ยครับโซไอทิงดิสิสเดอะบริฟก็ตอนนี้อยากจะเปิดโอกาสให้ยังมีเวลานะอยากจะเปิดโอกาสให้ถามต้องถามได้หรือมีอะไรจะแลกเปลี่ยนจะคุยอยากจะถามต้องถามเชิญเลยครับมีนาวโอเปิลของเวสเทิร์นสนามเชิญครับเชิญเลยครับแต่มากก็อยากจะให้ดูว่า
จะมีอะไรอยู่กับทาโร่หรือจะมีอะไรอยู่กับทางสายอย่างนี้หรือเปล่าชอบมาก since she was a child she has been interested in tarot when she read any other books she feels sleepy but when she read books of tarot she feel energized <laughs> now now she want you to look at her whether her personality her aura she can be successful with tarot because uh, i think it is a change here okay and i think tarot will be with the book okay and i try to be uh, to 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 make and some they they come out like what i said so i have become popular in my child that one is the like my copy but now i want to whether she can yes, be the master what is the date of birth date of birth what what the date of birth 19 september this is the month of my Nineteen September. Nineteen yes. September. Okay. Let me check your. Okay. It seems that you're carrying some, you know, knowledge from your past life. You have been a psychic in one of your lives. So what, that is what I see. So if you learn tarot, yes, you can learn and you can become a good tarot reader. You might not earn a lot out of it, but you'll be very happy and satisfied with this. Yeah. <laughs> แล้วก็ไอ้ความรู้เรื่องทาโร่ที่บอกว่าสนใจตั้งแต่เด็กเนี่ยคือมันปิดมาตั้งแต่ชาติที่มันก่อนเพราะฉะนั้นถ้าเรียนรู้เพิ่มเติมเอเดียสอ่าเอเดียสถ้าเรียนรู้เพิ่มเติมมีโอกาสที่จะประสบเมื่อไหร่มีโอกาสทําให้เรามีความสุขกับอาชีพ You should work on your third eye You need to develop your intuition more I like uh, stone I like many things like I I I don't know about this but I like nature I like ก็เอ่อคือบอกว่าอยากให้เพิ่มเอ่อความสามารถในเรื่องเรื่องเอ่อตาการมองอ่ะการมองทะลุแบบที่ที่เขาสามารถมองแล้วมองทะลุคือต
้แล้วตอนนี้ใจก็พยายามจะแบบจะเดินทางธรรมะแล้วจะเรียนรู้เรื่องเกี่ยวกับเรื่องธรรมะแล้วพยายามปล่อยวางตอนนี้ถามว่าจะเรียนรู้อะไรดีคือควรจะเดินเส้นทางไหนดีช่วยนะครับเอ่อดีให้เวเนเบอร์ดี get into any partnership or any networking in a group he's always being taken advantage of so recently he started getting more interested in spiritual aspect in religion that you know probably to progress in business professional life is not for me I'm always being taken advantage of so better I go more on spiritual religious side so he wants you to look at him that will he still have a good uh, professional life or should he divert divert more into spiritual aspects uh, one minute sir <coughs> คืนวันศุกร์เข้าวันเสาร์ยิบกาวินาส Friday 29 March ยิบคืนวันศุกร์เข้าวันเสาร์ Night Night of Friday almost วันเสาร์นี่เป็นยิบกาวแต่ว่าคืนวันศุกร์คืนนี้มาผ่านที่คืนไหมครับตีสอง Actually it's two o'clock in the morning of Saturday ก็เป็นวันที่สามสิบหรือยิบกาวนะยิบกาวคืนตีสองยิบกาว It's a two o'clock On 29. 29. That makes it 30. No, no. Uh, two. Uh, two. Uh, two. Uh, no, no. It's a new day already. 29 is a new day. It's a night of 28. Okay, can I see you? Yeah, you can. What I see is he is a very, very emotional person and very inexpressive. He is not uh, expressing what he feels. That makes him, you know, uh, that makes him a little weaker and that is why people take advantage of him. He needs to become expressive. He needs to understand how to express himself and then uh, he can be very, very successful. Anything related to creativity is what he should be doing. Uh, spirituality is good for him, but he needs to do something else for his bread and butter, and he'll be very successful in business of creativity. ก็บอกดูแล้วเนี่ยคือเราเป็นคนไม่ค่อยแสดงออกเวลาเราคิดว่าถูกเอาเปรียบคือเราเงียบเองเวลาถูกเอาเปรียบหรือเราเราเราไม่แสดงออกเราไม่พูดนะฮะเราต้องพูดเราต้องแสดงออกแล้วก็มองดูแล้วเนี่ยที่ถามว่าจะประสบความสำเร็จยังประสบอะไรในสายอาชีพหรือธุรกิจไหมหรือว่าต้องไปทางธรรมะคําตอบก็คือว่าประสบความสำเร็จได้ยังไม่ต้องทิ้งทางนี้แล้วไปทางธรรมะอย่างเดียวยังประสบความสำเร็จได้แต่ว่ามองดูแล้วเนี่ยสายที่จะประสบความสำเร็จคือทางด้านเกี่ยวกับความคิดสร้างสรรค์ให้ทําอะไรที่เกี่ยวกับการใช้ความคิดสร้างสรรค์จะประสบความสำเร็จเนี่ยคิดว่าตรงไหมฮะนะฮะก็ถ้าอยากมาหาส่วนตัวก็ยินดีนะฮะเดี๋ยวนัดผ่านดรกัมเมอร์นะฮะครับ any other question yes 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 and she's going to fly is her first to India and we were just discussing that Do you have some sign? If she put that sticker into the for the safety of the people, you can just scan her. Okay, she is making helmets, and now she is going to send the helmets from Thailand to India. She has, she is going to she is in the process of uh, making some deal with the uh, party in India. So she was asking me, doctor, is there any possibility that doctor Madhu can recommend some of the sign? Or some logo symbol, or symbol which can be like, put into the helmet, which protects the person who wears that helmet from for the safety reason. We can actually charge the product. We can bless the product so rather than uh, rather than putting a symbol. Blessing is better because if we put a symbol, it will become religious or something else. It's better to put energy. You can you know uh, use some sprays. I have got less sprays. You just spray on your product and then send it. It'll be like it'll create protection for the people who are wearing them. ก็คือหมวกกันน็อกใช่ไหมฮะเป็นโรงงานหมวกกันน็อกหรือเป็นเป็นเป็นหมวกกันน็อกแต่ว่าเป็นแฟชั่นเป็นแบบที่เป็นหมวกกันน็อกแต่ว่าเป็นแฟชั่นเป็นหมวกกันน็อกแต่ว่าเป็นแฟชั่นเป็นแบบที่เป็นหมวกกันน็อกแต่ว่าเป็นแฟชั่นเป็นแบบที่เป็นหมวกกันน็อกแต่ว่าเป็นแฟชั่นเป็นแบบที
not not actually for uh, it's more for fashion and for those hero. Yeah. For for the the for 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 คือจะแฉพลังลงไปที่หมวกกันน็อกนี้ทั้งหมดนะฮะแล้วก็อยากจะเพิ่มก็คือว่าให้ฉีดสเปรย์ลงไปเรามีสเปรย์ที่สวดมนต์แล้วสวดมนต์แล้วเพิ่มพลังฉีดสเปรย์ลงไปที่หมวกนี้ทั้งหมดเนี่ยรู้สึกว่าจะต้องไปอินเดียแน่ๆเลยหมวกเพราะว่าช่วงนี้จะอะไรประมาณจะอินเดียมากเลยอะ so she feel her face is now with India Yeah. Before it's with Italy. It's a little high. Italy is a little high. Italy is a little high. And then Italy came to the clinic. So your future is with the country start with I. Yeah. And then for the fans of Italy, I her husband is Italian. She spent ten years in Italy. Now she is seeing a doctor who is an Indian. Now she is listening to an Indian taro dealer and in a program hosted by a person of Indian origin. So it's a destiny for her. I I really I I really export India sure. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Ah, I have more more questions. A lot of questions. Ah, I want to ask, what? You know, to do fortune teller, can I? And I want to be a teacher. And then, when I see him, he is very interesting. But he is not very good at English. But he is very good at English. But he is very good at English. She can be successful as a fortune teller, and in fact, she want to learn more from you. But her drawback is English. So whether she will be able to learn from you because of English? I want to be a student, but. I don't know how much for price, but if I can sell about how about everything for agency estates, I I will fly there. Currently, currently she is a real estate agent, but but whether she should stick to this or she should become a fortune teller or what, she is still confused to the direction of her life. But I like to sell this stuff and estate, real estate together. One tarot reading is not fortune telling. Tarot reading is guiding people. You create your own future. So uh, we can find it out, of course, with with the uh, with the tarots only. To if you will be very successful uh, in this line, but you need to be very very clear that no fortune no fortune telling, helping people, guiding people through tarot. เขาบอกว่าเรื่องไพ่ทาโร่เนี่ยไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่การทำนายอนาคตนะครับมันคนศาสตร์นะครับกับไพ่ทาโร่นี่เป็นการช่วยคนเป็นการช่วยแต่ไม่ใช่เป็นการทำนายอนาคตต้องเข้าใจตรงนี้ก่อนว่าคนศาสตร์กันนะครับโอเคแล้วถ้าจะเรียนโดยมาช่วยคนสามารถเรียนได้ so if she want to study but not with the Intention to charge money, but to help people. What, 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 what is your opinion for her? It'd be good to study. You should study, and also you should connect with your past life. You will be connected with some of the intuitive powers. Go, go to learn, go to learn, go to learn. We have the opportunity to help. We have the knowledge 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 to help. ความรู้เราตรงนั้นที่เคยมีเนี่ยกลับมาช่วยเราในชาติมีวิธีอยู่ถ้าอื่นมีไหมฮะเดี๋ยวเราก็จะอย่างนั้นเราก็จะจะ
อาจจะถ้ามีคําถามเพิ่มอาจจะเป็นช่วงที่เราทานอาหารกันมีไหมฮะนะตอนนี้ครับโอเคฮะเอาเป็นว่าคำถามสุดท้าย last question ไทยอังกฤษอังกฤษก็ได้ไทยก็ได้นี่ภาพรูปครึ่งใช่ไหมนี่ใช่โอเคนะไทยอังกฤษไทยมาเลยไทยมาเลยโอเคแฮนด์ซัมไกด์ what is about you speak Italian 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 per il mio lavoro Okay. Uh, about my job and working stuff, how can be in the future? Uh, no, no. I mean in the future, what job will what, what, be? What yes. job or which direction will suit you? This yes, is your question. Future. Which direction if, uh, you should go? Yes. If uh, what are you studying I'm, now? I'm studying humanities. Humanities. So, so, whether this line suits you? Yes. What? Which direction you should go? This is your question. Yes. Okay. Yes. What's your date of birth? Date of birth. What will be good? Nine March. Nine March. Nine March. What are you thinking about? A job or a business? Business? Okay. Well, yes. Okay. What do I mean? Actually, you? I like the. Uh, yes, the pilot. I like to be pilot. Yes. Since when I was uh, little. You can be a very good team leader, as per your energy and you, and uh, you can uh, train people well. So all those things you can do. Apart from that, which line I have to find out this dialogue. ก็บอกว่าที่จะทําได้ดีคือเป็นหัวหน้าหัวหน้าคนแล้วก็ฝึกคนจะทําได้ดีแต่บอกว่าจะไปด้านไหนเนี่ยจะต้องดูจากพาโรกต้องดูจากใครพาโรถึงจะบอกได้ณตอนนี้บอกได้ว่าเป็นหัวหน้าคนดังเป็นผู้นําได้แล้วฝึกคนได้ดีโอเค I think uh, I'm sure there are more questions and uh, I'm sure uh, there there will be you will be receiving. Uh, I'm sure you will be receiving lots of visitors, and uh, perhaps uh, you will have you will gradually build up a fan club in Thailand, and probably you may have to move to Thailand. <coughs> okay, when when your fan club in Thailand start growing, I'm going to say that if there is ความเก่งขนาดนี้เพราะว่าดรจอมเมิลก็เชียร์มาประสบความสำเร็จมานะก็มีความเก่งขนาดนี้เนี่ยแล้วก็แฟนคลับค่อยๆสร้างขึ้นมาในประเทศไทยเนี่ยอาจจะได้ย้ายสมนโนกรมอยู่เมืองไทยนะเอาเอาโอเคคนไทยชอบดูหมอเป็นทีมกิจใจนะเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวล่าสุดมาที่ไทยคนรักดีไซน์เด็กเด็กรักโซลูชั่นโซเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยว People of Indian origin, but the local people. Okay. So I think uh, yeah. all I can say after today event now we are nearly full. We are nearly full. Although we don't have additional chair added as some some of our events. All I can say for today is I regret for those who could not make it this evening. They they missed something. Really, they missed something. They missed something of a lifetime. And for me personally. I also don't know. I'm, I'm. I don't know so much about this subject. It's something new for me. It's an eye opener for me. And I'm a kind of person who is who is open-minded. I I don't say no to anything. I listen. I listen. I'm open-minded. They, they miss the mid, They miss the best part. They miss the best part. You think they miss the best part? Yeah. They they really they miss something of a lifetime. Uh, products available during dinner time. You can ask question. You can need. You can inquire about the products. I'm sure the product will be available for sale. You can make an appointment through Dr. Kamal to visit personally. And uh, again, I am re I regret for those who could not make it. We have videotaped today event, and uh, 
I'm sure we will continue to publicize so that uh, our couple guest speaker fan club will grow in this country. I think we, we, we would love to have them spend more time or, or even based in Thailand eventually. Yeah, planning um, process. Yeah, planning. Planning? Okay, yeah. planning, you see? You see? Yeah. So I like to have uh, Mrs. Uh, Monica Aurora on behalf of our academy to present a small token of appreciation. To, uh, to, to both of our guest speaker, please, right here, please. This is Monica Aurora, her husband Dinesh, is a good friend of mine, and in fact, he was in my training. He was in my training long, long time ago, when they were still based in New Delhi. And uh, of course, we are friends, we, we, we are friends, and uh, we, we are happy to welcome you today. And since you are also originally from New Delhi, but now based in Bangkok. We have a book for you, very interesting book. The Prosperity Factor. And, and the contents of this book is very much in line with your science. It's not about working hard, working smart, but more about energy, about energy flow, attracting money. This is another book by a good friend of mine. This, this author is coming to Bangkok tomorrow. She is, she is a, this lady. She from France, but currently living in. in uh, she's, coming she's coming tomorrow. Yeah, she she was here last month, and then I took her to Dr. Kamal's clinic, and then she could, did not have time. This time she especially coming to visit Dr. Kamal's clinic officially, and uh, this also a good friend of mine, former Supreme Commander in Chief General Sayu Kertwal. He written a book about Second World War. Thailand and Japan. So we like on, on behalf of our academy if you can present as a token of appreciation. from Bangkok International Vegan Alliance. We have a booklet down there. Booklet the green with the top in green color booklet. It, uh, you can before you leave please pick, pick up 16 page booklet. Next month Sunday 2nd October it's going to be our silver jubilee. We were founded on 2nd October 1991, 25 years ago. We chosen Mahatma Gandhi's day to launch this movement. So 2nd October, Sunday, next month is going to be our 25th anniversary. We are, this hall is too small for this kind of event. We have booked a hall at Lotus Hotel, so we so at 33. You are welcome to join and, and especially for that event, the whole of the, the basement hall. So we appreciate if you can buy your tickets in advance. It's a hotel, long buffet dinner, a lot more buffet choices than what you will get today. Of course, here is our own hall, so we the, the ticket is cost to cost for you, cost to cost. But when it's in a hotel, it's a it's a hotel buffet. The ticket for that day is six hundred baht. Okay. We like to invite you to join, and we have two guest speaker, two prominent guest speaker. One is Dr. Thomas Lodi from US. The other person is Dr. Nandi Shore Sharma from New Delhi. Both of them has worked on cancer for many years. They are expert on cancer, pulling people away. Of course, this is one science, pull people away from disease. That is another science, pull people away from disease through food, through lifestyle. So you need to learn different science to, to, to make yourself very effective, not just one science, but you need multiple science. I am I, 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 I open-minded about this. So, and, and it's, it's, it's going to be very entertaining as well. It's not going to be a serious event. It's a silver jubilee. We're going to have some songs, some music. It's going to be entertaining.
So keep the date, second October, Sunday next month. Ticket six hundred baht. You can check our web uh, for more information. And uh, before I close down, last thing, we will have a good photo right here before you walk out to toilet or help yourself with buffet. <coughs> Please wait to take a good photo right here. You take a good photo, then we close. You go out, help yourself with buffet. The food served is 100% vegan. Combination mix of Thai food and Indian food, 100% vegan. Healthy, delicious. You come back to the room to enjoy your dinner. May I adjourn? Close Champerner Talk number 52. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uzuthe, make sure you get that photo in the next few days. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. It's okay. Ah, this is Biju. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs>
ช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใ